you join the Terran Republic Mighty Army as we are very close to the, uh, I think it's the NC's Warp Gate. Um, you'll see in just a moment the map. We're, we're pretty much dominating this map. We've been playing for most of the day and uh, yeah, we're, we're kicking ass. Um, not with any help from me because again, I just die so easily. Um, and, and just really annoyingly, I guess, um, I'm just making some silly mistakes today, um, but amazing fun. This uh, video is about the defense of this tower that I, for some reason, am driving away from right into their army. Don't know why I'm doing this, I'm probably a bit stupid. Um, but this this is probably about 20 minutes of footage where um, the, the fight just raged on and on and on. And, and I think it's probably one of the most brutal um, onslaughts I think I've ever been part of so far. It was a mighty tank battle. It was a pretty incredible um, aerial battle. Huge amounts of sniping, lots of troops, infiltration. So it just had absolutely everything. Now, you join the action here where really we're kind of kicking off um, a tank defense. So you can see here we've got a pretty solid line of tanks up on the ridge. Down in the gully to the left, we've got a fair few um, other tanks and quite a bit of infantry as you can see there from the overlay. And yeah, we're really kind of giving it to them. But what we didn't have, and I think what starts to really hurt us, and certainly turns the tide of battle, is we didn't have any aerial support whatsoever. Not a single unit in the air um, lasted longer than about 10 seconds before it was shot down. And you'll see really, you know, everything from this point forward uh, just points to that being a major failing. So it doesn't matter how many tanks or how many turrets or whatever we have, we just got, um, basically uh, taken out because we didn't have uh, the the whole combination of army. But anyway, let's join the footage. So as you can see now we're starting to form a bit of a perimeter. Um, I think we're, we're not losing tanks at this point and we've got anti-aircraft support as well but again it's kind of surprising how important just some of the smaller um, maybe overlooked objectives are because I think again now just looking back in hindsight on this footage we we should have kept the anti-aircraft guns going because this is the, the, the battle starting to turn because you're seeing a huge amount of uh, aircraft basically now starting to form and particularly because they're right by their base they can pretty much repair and rearm very easily so um, you can see now they're starting to make strafing runs so uh, thankfully uh, the aircraft gun is up for a bit longer but uh, I think it's about to die. Do not adjust your set, you are seeing that right. Some reason the galaxy pilot thought he was a mosquito. Um <laughs> basically paid for it. Ooh, so there we go. So now the beginning of the rocket runs, as we'll call them. Uh yeah, and basically it just starts to take out our tanks one by one.
so the sun's coming up, looking very beautiful. Um, and to be honest, we are now pretty much suffering from our lack of air support. Um, I think also we do still have anti-aircraft guns slowly being repaired, but as you can see, yeah, they're making strafing runs. It's only a matter of time before all of our tanks are dead. Um, and this is, again, just a fascinating kind of point of the battle is that it was pretty much on a knife edge, this whole battle. You know, we were not really being pushed back and we were, they were certainly not making any moves forward. But just the ability to, that they had a few good pilots, basically, in mosquitoes with rocket pods. And that started to kind of turn the tide a bit. And this is where, um, obviously, I'm retreating <laughs> just to try and get away um, from some of the, uh, the, the aerial bombardment that's just absolutely pillaging the area. So by this point, it's uh, starting to <laughs> certainly the tide's turning, um, and I think at this point, I uh, you know I'm basically trying to think of ways that we can just keep them kind of penned in a bit. Um, with the spawn system as it is, you have to kind of uh, factor in that you lose a prowler and then you lose a lightning. You're going to have to then wait in the queue for then any any other tank. So over time, eventually, you do kind of get to the point where. Um, your, your, your supply of tanks is pretty much reducing. Um, even the Sunderers are retreating there. So um, I think at this point I'm kind of getting ready to <laughs> to uh, not bail, but certainly uh, start to maybe get out of the firing line because it's basically just a direct gully to trench from us to them where we're just basically wailing on each other. So you see down in the road to the left, the tanks down there are faring a bit better. So. While I'm obviously not trying to fall down there, I think um, <clears throat> actually it looks a better prospect down there um, for some kills. So I take the decision to jump down and what do I jump into a tank killer? <laughs> so basically priority number one is to run away like a little girl. Um, he, he doesn't seem to shoot at me. I think he gets a few shots off but he doesn't actually hit me. Um, I just find it funny that the first thing I do when I kind of change position is I go into one of their tank killers. But he didn't get me so let's just see how we do down here.
uh, sorry to the dude I just ran over, that's not good. <laughs> it's just so difficult when they get in the way. Um, and yeah, just killed the tank that, <clears throat> and I noticed the guy basically is on the foot. And he's obviously trying to stop this guy repairing his prowler, so I managed to get some you know, damage on him, but um, I don't know if he killed him though. Yeah, that was kind of inevitable. That I think they certainly made their push. Certainly, as that um, as 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 I came around the corner, the they were starting to move their main force up, and you can see now they're pretty much there, ready to go and hit the base. Um, and we're being hammered by aerial units again. And you know we've got people sniping and stuff like that inside the base, which is kind of pointless. But and look how sort of brazen their their pilots are. I mean, yeah, you know, all all credit to them. They're very. Uh, competent players because they really did. Yeah, they they won the game this particular bit by having a lot of um, pretty good players. Uh, you know, in good fits from the from the mosquito. And there's not a lot I can do. I'm trying to just ward off certain people, but again, I'm I'm in a turret that's dying very fast, so <laughs> it's just gonna went badly. So what I decided to do is I then actually spawn. That uh, the base that I've just been fighting at is just down the ridge here, and I thought to myself, well, they're they're now overrunning it. Let's see if I can get some easy snipes. So I set it way above the ridge, and you can see here there's the huge amount of aerial units buzzing around. Not one of them noticed that I was up here, um, and you know we'll basically see we get some sniper footage. I must say it felt pretty weird sniping from what I guess in in you know reality is you know way above the clouds to these people. They didn't really know we were here. That's the beauty of it. They couldn't figure out where we were, and certainly the aerial units were buzzing around looking for snipers, but they honestly couldn't find any. Um, and I've got a, a colleague now with me who's sniping alongside me, and we started to get some good hits. I mean, I was kind of leading the targets, and then he was finishing them off. But um, I think it was is quite interesting because for for a very you know, small amount of time we were completely impervious up here. I mean, all it took was one or two people to see us with a, a mosquito and come basically finish us off. Eventually, and again, look at that, what a shot. And and eventually they do come deal with us, um, but they just they just basically spawn as anti-snipers, so um, it's really kind of not very effective. There's no quit in a TR, soldier. So just basically just finishing off, <laughs> trying to get some kills, to be honest. Because um, they've now taken the base, they start to actually try and fix it. So uh, they think, for some reason, that they're actually no, there's no particular threat anymore. So 
Um, we start to get a few more kills. Certainly we start to put some damage down and then all of a sudden we, uh, we realize they're just kind of walking around fixing things. So <laughs> we're basically just getting three kills now. Um, I think it's probably a unique base in that it's such a high vantage point. Um, and not even the aerial units really figured out where we were. But um, as you can see, just getting a few shots. It's pretty tricky to snipe from this range. But again, hit. So you can see they were kind of getting hits, I guess. And then I quickly resupplied and just ran back. And uh, I was just catching the, the various people repairing stuff. Uh, got a few good kills on these guys. Um, probably need to upgrade my sniper because I got that guy twice but just didn't kill him. Um, and, and really, yeah, I think I do I do enjoy sniping. I know it's a bit kind of, uh, it's obvious because everybody snipes, but I do quite enjoy um, the challenge of it because I think obviously you can see the bullets are actually kind of falling to earth as well. So there's a, a, a thing to that. You do get the odd satisfying kill like that, or at least the assist. I think there's three of us on the ridge now. We're kind of just wailing on anything that kind of shows its head. Uh, they do start to uh, to counter snipers, but I think it's actually just very difficult because the only thing they can probably see is the top of our heads and the gun, um, more or less. So basically that guy managed to take me to shield, so this is a bit of revenge. Just trying to get this son of a bitch. He's moving around, a bit tricky. But he basically knows we're here, so uh, I'm just trying to keep relocating at least. Even if it's just very slightly. I'm going to kill this guy now on principle. Oh yeah! <laughs> uh, I don't even know if that was him, but hey. I'll pretend it is. Um, so this is again just a fantastic part of the game, the fran the, the frenzied, frantic um, few moments at the start of the video, kind of then preceded by a bit of more of a tactical you know, face down. Um, I'm running out of ammo here as well, so I think I start to just kind of clean up and then move back to the base. Now we know that they're about to hit the next base as well, so behind us now um, the army's kind of reforming and uh, hopefully uh, we're going to repel them at this point as well. So we start to relocate back to our our front line, and um, we notice that what basically there's been a, a, a mosquito shot down, and all of a sudden we notice the pilot's trying to fight for his life. So, as a parting and a nice end to this video, we watch uh, we watch this fine pilot be taken down. Yeah. 